Jam School Remix. It's the best trick ever. You look like a genius. They look like a sucker. Would you have a seat, please? Of course, yes. Yeah. Because I like to take one finger pointed into the air, take the other finger pointed into the air, same time, and then point them towards each other. Because I need a place to put this. <laughs> Excellent. I'm going to do a magic trick that's going to fool you, but not the camera. So the camera, the people at home are going to see exactly what's happening. I make a little ball of uh, toilet paper. I place it in the left hand. I tap. When I tap, it vanishes. <laughs> to you, that looks cool. But to them, it's silly. It's over here. It's sleight of hand. I place it in this hand. I do a tap. It vanishes from your point of view, but they can see it didn't go in the hand. I'm doing slow motion for you this time. Watch closely. It slowly goes in the hand. That time you could see that it didn't go in. Now I'm going to try to use the other method, real magic. Watch closely. I place it in, I do a tap, tap, tap. Um, you tap. Okay, put your finger back. That's when the magic happens. Watch. It's gone. Now, where does this go? It went up my sleeve, but you didn't catch it. What are you going to do? You don't have a sleeve. It, I get it up there. Watch, 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 watch. You lean in here, watch really closely. I do a tap, 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 it vanishes. It, but no, this time I use that method. We're gonna use real magic, right? You tap, you do the tapping. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, and now it's gone for both hands. Did you see it go? It's in the roll. No, I was joking, I was joking. Wait, you put your hands down, watch, watch, watch closely. I go like this. You tap, 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 tap. But wait, 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 it's gone. No, but wait, wait, there's more. Think of something you really want in life, okay? Think of something, I'm gonna make it up here right I here. I really want that toilet paper. What do you really want? No, you want a, a beer. How about that? This is for you. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> that amazed me. I mean, at first, I got it, but then when he added up his sleeve, I did not get that. And then the roll of toilet paper, I have no idea where that went. It's hard for people to believe how much of a fooler this is to the person sitting in the chair. It's so simple, and the simple ones are always the best fooler. The general principle is you take advantage of the motion to go behind their head to well, throw Well, there's handful things. There's big motion covers small motion. There's right. out of line of sight. It's right. also mis refocusing their attention or misdirection. It's also giving them a plausible other alternative where it could be so that they're focusing in the wrong place. You get a roll of toilet paper, tissue, anything like that. So the yeah, idea is you start small, and I think you've done big motion cover, small motion. Oh, sure, sure, sure. So what you do is you just practice. I call it a put tag. So instead of actually putting in the hand, what you do is you roll into your hand and you don't actually put it and in it there. it almost doesn't matter if you can't do it well because even if they're not fooled here, you're building the precedent that you're doing sleight of hand. And if you look at it from Brian's point of view, he's looking at the back of my hand. He's yeah, not no, seeing much you at can't. all. So you do a put take like that and it vanishes. You get them used to this motion. I also touch them a couple times. He looks right where I touch it and then he looks at my eyes over here and then the sleep. Yeah, so the sure. next time you use real magic, when I place it in, his attention is completely the wrong place. I am just going out of his line of sight. Sure, sure. So you kind of measure, can he see this? Can he see, he cannot see this? I, I this cannot. is when I can toss. You can throw things away that are really big like this and his attention is right here. From his point of view, it's just magic. It really is. It's so ballsy that you're going to think there's no way I should get out there and try it. But out of everything we've taught on Scam School, this is one that benefits the most from experimentation. You have to be prepared to totally fail and get busted. And if you do get busted, there's other things you can make up. Just think in terms of wrap your mind around the perspective of the person having the magic done to them and get creative. And I'll encourage them to watch the actual performance because I say things like, you guys are going to see how it's done. It's going to fool this person. So keep a secret because you don't want someone to blow it from the outside. Magicians call this routine the flight of the paper balls and it's like a hundred years old. In fact, do yourself a favor and watch one of the original masters who popularized this routine. Blow your mind with it. Pay attention to the fact that he knows the sight lines of the sucker so well that he's able to execute the move feet away from him and yet totally fool him every single time. I want to give a special thanks to Robert Strong for joining us on this episode. And don't forget the Scam School Remix brings you the best over over seven years and 400 plus episodes of Scam School. You can check out the episode this one came from or check out this week's episode in which I have a reasoned conversation with death. And I say, ah, uh, please don't. Five, death, no. And then I die.